Good morning. I am live in Oakland, California, and this is your personal sensei. Good morning. This is your personal sensei for Thursday, July 9th, 2015. Step 17, Cancer rules the day. We're in the Cancer consciousness. That means that we are cooking up a new emotional tone and a new emotional process. And that's what we're moving into today is our emotional process. By process, I mean the way we emotional deal with many things. That might be business, children, ourself. So we're coming up with an emotional process. And today, because of the nature and the architecture of incarnation, today is very psychic. So listen to your feelings. You'll find that you are operating very much in the psychic awareness. You might have had some funky dreams last night. That's not an accident. By the way, I have a lot of viewers that tell me I show up in dreams. No wonder I'm so tired by the morning. (laughs) I was like, I was out doing all sorts of light work. And today, I think, in that kind of exploration of our intuition, we are seeking a decision or a conclusion about something in our life. So today, I'm going to help you with all these things, and I'm going to help you come to that conclusion, or at least lay down uh, the footsteps necessary to get there. But first, let's tame our brain with the phrase of the day. I feel my heart today, and I sense what's right. I feel my heart, and I sense what is right. Now, these are what I think we need to pay attention to with that smart ass, the two Gemini parts of our brain. On the one hand, feeling our heart today. Now, feeling your heart means you know its opinion everywhere. And knowing its opinion is kind of like being uh, in junior high again. That's what it feels like when you're in mindful of your heart. So it's like, oh, my God, those shoes are gross. That's your heart's opinion. (laughs) You know what I mean? Oh, my God, is she really wearing that? That's your heart's opinion. So it's like when we're teenagers, we're very much in our heart. And then, you know, adulthood slowly beats us out, bad out of us. And then the other side of us is I sense what's right. What's right is that other part of us that knows what the right shoes would have been in that case for us, what, you know, the right clothes would have been or whatever, you know. So what's right for us, relativity to us, what your heart wants, that's really what's right in the consciousness of spiritual relativity. So today, I feel my heart today. I feel its opinion on everything. And I sense what's right. I sense what I would choose, what my heart would want each step of the way. And so it is because I said so. I thought so. So looking at our conscious cooking, I'm coming up with what I call really our soul recipe each day. And that's what I'm going to call it. This is the soul recipe of the day. And I'm keeping it in this parallel so that it's very simple to understand. Well, we're cooking up a conscious soup. And that soup is cancer. And cancer is how we feel about things. And this conscious soup of how we feel about things becomes the broth at every meal for the next 365. That's how consciousness works. You end up having to eat the leftovers of that month's work or lack of it. All right? So we are cooking up our soup and we'll be eating these leftovers for a while. And we have reached the point now we're in the step 17 of the process. So by the teens, we have boiled off all the excess fat. By the teens, we don't have anything in our broth we don't want. By the teens, we're trying to build an emotional process, not an emotional tone. So this is a recipe for an emotional process. Now in this emotional process, what we are introducing today are our spiritual truths. So we sprinkle in our spiritual truths. That's what we came up with yesterday, all those different senses. So it's like, well, I know a spiritual truth is I love children. So let's add that to my emotional soup. And I know a spiritual truth is that I love to be on camera. So let's add that to my emotional soup. And let's just keep adding these things up and see what we cook up. And what comes to, as far as our vapor or what cooks off or what we end up with, is a decision. A decision is a proclamation in consciousness. It is a decision. A decision is a incision in consciousness that cuts away from what you don't want to support with your love energy and then allows for what you do to stay. So what we will come to today, the boil that your life will come to today, is decisions about your life based on your feelings and the spiritual truths that you add to your feelings today. 
and where those feelings might lead you to, those decisions or conclusions. And by the way, this is the natural way that consciousness flows. I call it the 11 steps of serious joy. It's the way consciousness naturally flows. And after we're intuitive, we come to decision. Step eight, that's always the way it is. So let's do our soul tune-up for today. Do me me for so do. Now we are working on yellow, and I like to focus on colors because colors are connected to numbers, which are connected to consciousness, which is connected to creator in a fraction, right? So we are working on the fraction of consciousness known as emotion, which is kind of like the first thing that happens at step two. So we protect, we love, we feel. The very first thing that we do on earth is we feel. That's really the first material example of reality is emotion. Emotion is the spiritual language of the soul. So if you don't pay attention to your feelings, you're not going to be psychic. If you don't pay attention to your feelings, you're not going to know who you are. And we are in cancer, which means we are enriching our emotion ocean and getting it ready for the whole year. Now today, what we add to that is, of course, love. As soon as you're in the teens, you're adding love. As soon as you add love to your emotional consciousness, you are uh, beginning to create because love is what we create with. So we are creating emotion. We are creating process. We are creating. So today, focus on your yellow, that you have emotional tone. Focus on your green. How pure is your love? How pure is your green light shining to the world? And like I said, we have the addition of our violet. Yesterday, we had the violet life go light going off anytime something good happened or a spirit agreed with. So today, we add those ingredients, those purple lights, into the conscious soup. And we keep our purple light open. So we listen to our sense. We listen to our heart. And what we will come to is indigo. Indigo is a correction of our third eye vision. Third eye vision is us vision questing the future. Your third eye is literally sending the future of the matrix what to do for you. So today you are sending that signal. Each decision is an incision. Each decision is a change in your indigo vision. So this brings me to today's soul challenge, my friend. Your soul challenge is to identify three of those spiritual truths you came up with yesterday. Identify three of those truths. All right? I realize that I'm great with children. I realize I'm great on camera. I realize I don't want to go away with my whole show. I just want to narrow it down a bit. Those are three spiritual truths I came up with. And what do these three truths conclude about your feelings? Meditate on, well, what do these truths conclude? These truths conclude I must be on the air. These truths conclude I must be around children still and I miss my own son. These truths conclude... So what you want to meditate on is what do these truths conclude today? This is you cooking up your conscious soup. And this will, of course, bring you to your decisions. And that is today's gratitude. Today's gratitude is, higher self, I am grateful today for any conclusions I come up with. Even if they're not meant for the now. It's like, you know what I came up with? I'm not going to be able to be married to this woman a whole lifetime. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sometimes we come up with conclusions. She doesn't even know that now. You know what I mean? Like, or whatever, but that's what it comes down to, right? So I'm grateful for my conclusions. Doesn't know, when we act on them, it's another thing. So I'm grateful for my conclusions. I certainly am. And we want to stay grateful to those conclusions today. Now, in my world gratitude, I want to say to the world that I am grateful for the Supreme Court's recent conclusions um, to honor and support gay marriage and gay love. I am grateful for the Supreme Court for listening to the will of the people. I am grateful for the Supreme Court finding it in their interpretation of the law. Those were all decisions that each of those Supreme Court justices made in their consciousness. And hopefully they meditated with their soul, not just with the law. Their job is to find spiritual interpretation in the law that exists or interpret the law. Spiritual meaning what's best for everyone, not just a particular um, uh, you know, you know, financial interest or corporation. So I'm grateful to the Supreme Court justice for their recent decision. And I am grateful uh, to myself for any decisions that I come up with that become the law of my spiritual land today. And that leads us to our joy quest. Your joy quest, should you choose to accept it, my friend, is to decide and commit to your soul today. Not for your whole life. But today, if your soul and your instincts say, go in the left door, go in the left door. If your soul and instincts say, don't call them today, don't call them today. Just today. I'm not asking you to try this more than one day. I'm just saying for one day, if you can listen to your soul, your joy quest to decide and commit to what your soul tells you today and see where that leads you. 
And that brings us to our final soul cal, uh, calisthenic, which is today's telepathy. But before I give you today's telepathy, as promised, I must give you the answer to yesterday's telepathy. Yesterday we asked about cancers heading for the moon, and the choices were John Glenn, Elon Musk, or Richard Branson. And the answer was Richard Branson. Because Richard Branson is an amazing Step 25 cancer, his soul recipe is, I feel and I think, opening up his psychic ability. He's basically doing master spiritual work. By the way, he has the same birthday as John Glenn. So John Glenn, too, is a spiritual master. He just decided to pioneer space by being the first one to orbit the Earth. And here is Richard Branson wanting to be the first one to orbit it commercially. Of course, Elon Musk is the one who also wants to do that. But he's a step six cancer. So he's in it for just openness, period. Not so much God or anyone else, right? And that brings us to today's telepathy. So if you don't know, this is a little game we play where I send a little extra information along my temple to yours. And you see in your meditation and meditation if you can pick up who I was thinking about. So today the topic is um, cancer comedians. These are funny cancers that make you laugh. And cancers usually uh, tickle your funny bone in such a great way, particularly around family and truce, right? Like Cancer Bill Cosby. Oh, we're not going to bring him up past that, right? Uh, not, not happiness there. Sending love and light to heal all those women and all those things, okay? Officially for him. But these are funny cancers that joke about family. But one of these funny cancers I'm thinking about today. Is it number one, Cancer Richard Lewis? Number two, Cancer Filler, uh, Phyllis Diller? Or number three, Cancer Lisa Lampanelli? Which one of these funny cancers am I thinking about I'll have the answer in tomorrow's personal sensei. And that brings us to the close of today. I hope you have a fabulous day, my friends. Remember, you can follow me on YouTube, and you can follow me on Twitter, and I ask you to subscribe. And I'll be having a new website out shortly that's going to kind of bring everything together and focus around my day. But have a great 24 hours. I'm going to be working hard to getting these up a little bit sooner now that I'm trimming off the work. And I'll see you tomorrow with your special Friday personal sensei where I do promise to keep alive the Friday dance. Until then, remember I love you, my friend, and uh, live, love, be. So.